Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to T. Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island in County Kerry. So I have for you today this brand new Scania G450 XT. So from the construction end of the Scania range. So I'm very much looking forward to showing you all around this truck. We'll check out the bodywork, then we'll check out the interior, all the features, and then we'll be going out on a test drive. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look around the G450 XT then from Scania. It does look quite well in the colour there that Nolans have chosen. That maroon metallic looking great indeed. Now if I move around the front here, you'll notice we have the two flashing orange beacons there on top and also the air horns are covered in just to protect them from dirt and dust and also the LED spot lamps up on top and we have the sun visor above the windscreen. So yeah, it does look quite well, doesn't it, on the front of the XT. So we have LED lamps all around, except for the ones on the bumper. So they are halogen lamps built in there, and also we have the washer units there on top, just for washing your headlamp, because that will get dirty a lot in construction sites, and protection there from the wire mesh all around the lamp. Now you'll notice we have no fold-down step. It is just situated up on top of the bumper, and we also have this towing device up on top as well. Very handy to have that. So I'll open up the grill there shortly to give you a quick look in behind that. And now you'll notice it straight away, of course, the XT range has a different design front bumper. Um, this is all, all steel, good and strong on the XT. And underneath here, I'll show you we have more protection. So all steel protecting the underbody here of the... Uh, of the XT range and we have great ground clearance here you'll see that straight away I can show you underneath here quite easily now we don't have any disc brakes and we don't have any air ride suspension so we have drum brakes and we have parabolic Z-leaf suspension all around so that is what's specified with this particular example you can get an air ride suspension if you wish but uh, some people prefer to have the robustness of the Z-Leaf parabolic uh, suspension. Parabolic leaf suspension. So, yeah, just walking around here, just giving you a quick look around the exterior. Now, you'll notice the bottom step there. There is a bit of movement in that, so it's kind of handy if you're hitting rocks or hitting ditches. Uh, just a bit of movement in the bottom step. And you can also take it off if you want some more ground clearance. But, uh, yeah, the Alcoa aluminium wheels looking great. So, of course, they not only look good, but they do shave off a lot of weight on the overall uh, weight of the truck. So this truck would weigh between 12 and 13 ton empty, and you're allowed to gross 32 ton. That's what you're allowed to legally uh, gross on this four axle tipper, 32 ton. And let's just have a quick peek underneath the uh, wheel arch here. Plenty of space to show you in this XT. and. Uh, show you in at the engine as well. So six cylinder diesel engine 13 liters uh, That is your diesel engine um, 2350 Newton meters of torque So should be decent enough power in this tipper truck. That is your battery box there And we also have our air outlets there So quite easy to take off that box and change your batteries or top them up with a uh, uh, distilled water if you wish, but um, yeah, we have our Hiva hydraulic ram there for tipping your um, body there uh, the Hiva ram and all its different components underneath Yeah, it's all uh, very sophisticated isn't it? <laughs> and we have a little tap uh, Your valve there for turning off your hydraulic fluid But uh, yeah, just walking around just giving you quick look at what it's all about. So the bodywork is built by Fitzgeralds. They are based near Mallow in County Cork. 
Uh, so it's a Hardox steel body. It's got a five millimeter floor base. Um, so uh, it's all looking quite nice in the black with the XT450 decals there on the rear. Now we have a very nicely done by Fitzgerald as well, this checkered plate, this chrome effect here, um, and also on the rear, I do like that. Now there is just one fuel tank, I mean, that's probably all you need. You wouldn't really be doing long journeys on your tipper truck, and it also saves on weight, just having the one fuel tank. So this is 400 liter capacity, and we also have this uh, little storage area here. So uh, your Dakin storage uh, area there for all your bits and pieces and some more crash protection there from Fitzgerald's. And also the hubs are painted nicely to match in with the bodywork there. So nicely done by Nolans. And have a look at our uh, leaf springs there uh, all around. So you'll notice that we have no sub uh, chassis here. Now some of these tipper trucks do have sub chassis just for extra robustness when you're tipping your load so the chassis is not flexing as much you'll see that um, I, I'll show you later on in another tipper truck I videoed earlier it had a sub chassis and uh, yeah we'll have a look at that and you'll notice as well we have the little rubbers there for protecting your chassis now some people put steel or sorry timber all around the chassis there um, just to protect it but uh, yeah it all depends how much of a long life you want if you put uh, timber there it'll last longer than the rubbers but uh, yeah so no sub chassis fitted to this uh, it's just as you see it there so yeah it does look very very nice and tidy doesn't it and of course you can get five axle tipper trucks but um, if you want to carry extra weight but uh, this one is just fitted with the four axles obviously now we have our double acting rear hinge design here from Fitzgerald's and it's automatic so just one lever in, in the cab I'll show you later on uh, what that looks like so this will flick up automatically and you can get your tipper door to open uh, just from a lever in the cab and then if you want the tipper door to stay open you just flick that over and it'll stay open a small bit and you'll be able to sweep out all your stones if there's anything caught there so just to keep things nice and safe that the, uh, the door's not hitting you you can keep it open a bit uh, by that little piece there. So we have all LED lamps there on the rear uh, of the body. And uh, what's going to be fitted in here is two more reversing lamps and also a rear reversing camera. That's what's going to be fitted in the back area there. So all nicely done by Fitzgerald's, the bodywork. And you'll notice there the LED lamp there. You can flick that around. <laughs> Just handy if you're hitting trees, uh, it'll be protected on that little rubber device. But yeah, um, just walking around, giving you a quick look around. And uh, we have our four air tanks there and our 80 litre capacity add blue tank. You should get good range out of 80 litres. And our exhaust there sticking out the top. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's a Euro 6 truck, so... I mean, that's a quite a small uh, filter box there. Usually on the tractor units, it would be coming back even more. But uh, that's nice and tidily done on the Euro 6 spec truck. But yeah, I'm just going to show you the key. I have it in my back pocket here. And simple enough key. We have, uh, we have just lock, unlock. We can test our lamps. And if I want to turn on the uh, parking lamps, I can just... Turn them on there, very handy, just one switch, and that will turn them on. And if I want to test my light, my lights, I can do a light test here. And it'll also sound the rear reversing buzzer. Just to let you know that everything is working with your lights there. Just turn them on again, and give it another light test. And you'll see the LEDs coming on and off there, just to make sure everything is working properly. So yeah, I, uh, I'm just going to open up the grill now and give you a quick look. Uh, let me just unlock it. Uh, so, very handy, isn't it, with the remote control, locking and unlocking your truck. And we'll hop inside there shortly and give you a look at all the interior features. So you just pull that small little lever and our four steps going into the cab. And nice storage compartment here and 
this little box here with Scania and uh, we have this little aluminium strip going all around the speaker and if I'm oh yeah this little Scania lights up at night as well that's nicely done now I'm just going to open up the grill and give you a look at what we have here so very easy to open up that when you unlock it now we don't have any um, dipstick uh, we just have an electronic gauge inside in the dashboard so uh, you'll see we have our jacking device there the bar and the other piece of the bar is here where uh, you can jack up your cab so you top up your oil here and also we have our coolant bottle there very handy to see through that uh, on a lot of trucks you wouldn't be able to see through the tank but uh, it's handy to have that and our um, air suspension there on the front very good indeed so it's all looking quite well isn't it on the front of the XT so let's close that back up you have to close these first and get that grill down and I can show you inside the cab okay let's hop inside now if I zoom in here I just want to show you that this truck was produced in France so you'll see it there look produced in France so some of the trucks are assembled in France and some are built in Sweden uh, of course Scania being a Swedish company owned by Volkswagen now uh, these two levers they are for tipping your body so you would pull that to uh, lift up your ram and this one is for opening up the rear tailgate for tipping your load so uh, let me just pull the lever here and show you inside the two lockers one for the driver side and passenger side and uh, quite good space in them we have our warning triangle there and one also on the other side first aid kit LED um, torch there and also the light up on top lighting it up so yeah I'm just gonna climb inside and give you a look at the whole interior let you know what we have so a fully adjustable driver seat and passenger seat would you believe so uh, great to have that now the passenger seat is not ventilated but it is heated this uh, driver's seat is both heated and ventilated. Now the leather seats, you'll see them there, all the white stitching. And we have the Scania um, embossed there onto the headrest. Uh, nicely done too. And uh, see the steering wheel there? We have wood and leather. So uh, nicely done there. Nice finish. So this particular uh, tipper truck is to uh, a high spec. A high spec on this now. And uh, Let me just turn on the ignition there. And give you a quick look a nice Scania logo lighting up and we have our media there we can go down through our different settings start up checklist um, that will show us various functions there engine oil and uh, let's just come out of that menu and go down through more functions so we have our oil pressure driving score just to let you know how you're performing with your brakes and how you are on the hills differential lock and let me just go down through our different driving modes so we've standard mode we've economy mode and we've off-road mode so we'll keep it in standard mode for the moment so yeah it's pretty easy enough to navigate your way through that menu and we have our speedometer there on the left uh, rev counter on the right with our time and outside temperature add blue gauge and our engine temperature and fuel gauge there and also the speedometer is in digital form you see it right there so uh, yeah quite nicely done from Scania so uh, we have all our media functions and also voice activation and this is for navigating your way through that menu as I showed you earlier so yeah it's a uh, very easy to do and very nicely designed steering wheel with the silver accents there going down through either side I really like it and uh, nice to hold as well very very good um, down here we have our cruise control and we have our hill descent control so uh, you turn on your your cruise control and you can set your speed for your hill descent and your once you touch the brake pedal your uh, auxiliary brake will come on automatically downhill and it'll stay at that speed that you have set so uh, very good to have that function and that is our gear selector there for our Opti Cruise gearbox and you can have your auxiliary brakes coming on automatically when you touch the brake pedal uh, so they will come on all on their own just at one tap of the brake pedal now if I just close the door here and give you a look 
at the switches here so we've all our electric windows electric mirrors and we can lock and unlock our door and we can also um, adjust the headline headlight beam so let me just zoom in there yeah you can just turn that switch there to adjust your headlight beam and moving over here to our stereo nice um, touchscreen stereo and we have two SD card slots so one is for your satellite navigation and one is for your uh, media files so our two SD slots on top of the stereo moving down here we have our climate control air conditioning very good all our lighting functions uh, differential lock traction control and over here you'll see we have a light there that will indicate when the body um, is raised in the back and also a tailgate open just to warn you when your tailgate's open and when your body is lifted and uh, we have a USB there and there and one there three USBs very good now we have our 24 volt socket there and we have a 12 volt socket there two cup holders and one there and we also have this um, your drawer very good now you'll notice I just want to show you this it's just a, a little bit of a quirky thing I want to show you now you see the uh, small little um, emblem there on the USB now you'll notice that this one doesn't have one you know so uh, this is just to emphasize that one is 1.5 amp and this is a 2.4 amp so just your different amps on your USBs I just thought I'd show you that if you're interested <laughs> now on the new generation Scanias okay we have a fold out table so uh, this one doesn't have it it's just a storage compartment there so uh, it's just flat on the dashboard if you want to set anything up there we have a couple of more components there that have to be fitted to the truck and the passenger side as I said fully adjustable and with the armrest there on either side very nicely done and electric windows there very good yeah so uh, yeah it's very nicely done isn't it all around the speakers there the little silver accents now the comfy bed I, I lay on it earlier it is nice and comfortable now I'm six foot two and I still had a good eight inches uh, above my head so great space there on your bunk and we have storage there on either side and I really like these little handles see them look well they're actually big they're not little at all so uh, great grip off them and also one for the driver's side now I'm just going to lift up the bunk and give you a look so you can gain access there to the two outer lockers which is very handy and I might as well show you the fridge while we have it lifted so it's quite shallow but you can get a few bottles in there and your switch there and your temperature for rising and lowering the temperature so yeah you can slide that out when the bed is down and let's just fold that bed back down quite easily done now I just move over here and just sit in the driver's seat so yeah I'm just gonna start it up let me just uh, open up the door here and start it up for you guys yeah so it ticks over quite quiet not too bad <laughs> I won't drive it too high there's only what uh, 215 kilometers on this truck brand new <laughs> yeah so let me just hop out because I want to hop into the rear of the body and let you see what it's like in the back <laughs> okay let's climb up here into the body and show you what it's like so here in the tipper body it's known as a half pipe all hard ox tipper body so you're probably wondering what does he mean by half pipe well it's because of the way it's curved at each side there and it's designed that way to get your load to shoot out the back as quickly as possible and so your stone and gravel won't be sticking to the sides because you can imagine if that was a corner it would be more prone to stone and gravel sticking so that's just to stop that now the whole bodywork all the steel bodywork has been shot blasted primed and painted with two pack paint and baked at 60 degrees so you'll get plenty of wear out of the paintwork and we do have these little tie hooks here for tying down your canvas and also these holes in the bodywork here just to save down on weight because as you know all of these trucks it's trying to save as much weight as possible in the bodywork so yeah that's what it looks like in the back of the tipper okay let's hop back out here quite easy to do with the handles 
And uh, yeah, it's time to take this G450 XT for a spin. Let's go. Okay, off we go in the Scania G450 XT. Now, straight away when you drive these new generation trucks, you'll notice how quick the gear changes are. So much more quicker than the older generation Scanias. And with quicker gear changing, it means better momentum up the hills. Now, I'm just gonna go handy on this road up as far as the roundabout because there is a lot of bad bumps on this road. But, I mean, it's a good, it's a good uh, test for the suspension going over these bumps. But um, yeah, it's been a while since I drove a truck with parabolic springs and uh, this one seems to be coping quite well. Uh, not too bad on these bumps. And uh, we have the 12 speed OptiCruise gearbox, as I said. So this is the GRS 905R gearbox, if you want to be technical about it. And uh, we have great visibility, as I've said before, with these new generation trucks out of the windscreen there down low great visibility and in between the mirror and the pillars very good and the mirrors themselves great piece of design the wide angle on top excellent and the big mirrors at the bottom oh a bit of a bad bump here now let's slow down yeah because that is bad now <laughs> but uh yeah great test for the suspension and it's coping very well so as i said we have no weight on board we're testing this truck empty. Uh, it would be nice to test it with a full load, but uh, we will just make do with it empty today. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to swing around the roundabout here and make it up the hill uh, just to show you how it revs in um, at 80 kilometers, what it's revving in at. So of course the engine, as I said, is a straight six cylinder diesel engine 13 liter and it has 2350 newton meters of torque so powering up through the gears into 11th gear so it jumped from 9th to 11th which is perfectly acceptable we have no weight on board and we're just climbing a gradual hill now now i do have manual control i can manual down through my gearbox and <laughs> press in the clutch go down through my gears manually if I want or else manually with the gear selector just up and then we have a button at the side that we can press to have manual control now I also have two more switches on the gear selector as I said for when you're slowing down you press your brakes and your auxiliary brake will come on automatically so uh, just one dab of the brake pedal and your auxiliary brake is automatically on so uh yeah that's uh we're just coming up behind a slow van uh, i'm just going to get past him and slow down a bit we have a volkswagen transporter is that a german registration on that looks like a german tourist so let's power up here now oh sorry that's a french tourist <laughs> i got that one wrong that is a French tourist. Okay, so yeah, performing as you would expect, empty, plenty of power. It's powering up this hill, no problem at all. <laughs> Great performance. Let's just get it up to 80 kilometers and see what we are revving in at. So we're just revving in at 1300 RPM, just over 1300 RPM at 80 kilometers. So that's not too bad. Now let's just slow right down here and swing around in here. Let's get in before the bus comes and get around this hill and make our way back down to Nolan's. So the driving position is very, very good. We've got full adjustment on this steering wheel. So um, reach and rake are very good and the, st and the seat great adjustment on that lumbar support and heated and ventilated as i said so plenty of comfort in this truck and we have our sun visor there now one small issue with that sun visor now that i have it down there's just a small little gap here that should be filled so uh, early morning sun or late evening sun you might get a, a bit of 
sun dazzle through that small gap but uh, yeah that's just a bit of an issue there and strangely enough it was the same issue with the older trucks as well so that needs to be rectified but other than that it's driving pretty well now um, let's just turn on our cruise control so we can set our cruise control there to 80 kilometers and we can also do our hill descent control so we can set that to 77 kilometers if we wish so even if we had a heavy load on board the brakes will come on automatically the auxiliary brakes and uh, the retarder will come on and it will slow you down automatically when it reaches that point that you have set in the hill descent control so we can switch off our cruise control or else just dab our brakes and it will come off automatically now your brake lights do come on with the auxiliary brake just to warn drivers behind that you are slowing down and you can hear the auxiliary brake kicking in there so it is very good I mean I literally have no foot on the brake until right now <laughs> but uh, of course we have no weight on board so it will be less stress on the brakes so yeah just powering it up here now up through the gears so there we are we're in the 12th gear already and we're only doing 60 kilometers so just goes to show you the amount of torque that these trucks have huge amount of torque so there we are back from the drive so just a couple of more functions I want to go down through with you. Uh, we have the air horn there and we have the power takeoff switch and the rear reversing buzzer and our battery isolator switch. And if I move up here, I just want to show you the lockers. So we have a lockable locker there and these ones are not lockable, but just a bit of storage in them, storage area here. And we can open up the sunroof if we wish, just by pressing that button. We can tilt it up there. And we have the um, fly net there. You can slide that over and we can also block it out if we wish. Block out the sunroof. So nice and handy locker areas up above the windscreen. And if I swing around here, we have this for the night eater and we also have lighting switches there and you can open and close the sunroof from your bed as well and we have a USB connection and this is for your auxiliary heater so can I get that out here we are so you can program that to come on at uh, any time of the day and night just to keep your cab nice and toasty and you can also set an alarm on that as well to wake you up in the morning so yeah that's how it looks in the cab Okay, I can show you the sub chassis on this P380. This is from 2007. So we have it lifted up here on its ram <laughs> and you can see the sub chassis there. So it is quite thick and it does strengthen the chassis. When you have a heavy load tipped up, it will give the chassis extra strength and you can get them even thicker if you want, but it all depends what way you specify your tipper. But uh, that's how it looks on your sub chassis so i just thought i'd show you this before i wrap up the video this is the g410 xt so you'll notice straight away we have a smaller cab this is the day cab so we don't have any bunk in this cab and this is just chassis and cab now waiting for the body to be put on so yeah that's what they look like with no body <laughs> obviously those lamps will be taken off out of there they're only there for transportation yeah, so uh, that's how your day cab looks with this G410. So that is a wrap on the XT. So I really enjoyed it here today down in T. Nolan and Sons looking at this XT G450. So as I said, if you want less power, just go for the G410 with 410 horsepower. But 
I feel that this G450 is a good compromise between power and fuel consumption. So very good engine, straight six cylinder diesel engine, 2350 newton meters of torque from the 13 liter diesel engine. So yeah, that's it. Any more information you need on this, please do contact T. Nolan and Sons here in Castle Island in County Kerry and they can fill you in with more details on this truck. But guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers! XT, so it's come. And then we'll be getting hooked. Okay, we're not hooking under any trailer, no. Back out here, quite easy to do with the handles. That was bad, do it again.